Oh, okay. Yeah, because then they... Oh, is All it right. not double elimination? Hello? Welcome back to day two of the Blue Springs High School Wildcat Invitational. We have a battle of the titans here with Blue Springs High School and Hickman both facing off. Both the only undefeated teams left in this bracket. It's going to be a really interesting finals. And joining me in the uh, booth here is Stu from Blue Springs High School, Richard Wells. He was playing last night. Uh, I believe he was the Cogma last night who got No, um, I was the Yon. Ah, Yone. Yone with a triple kill. Beautiful stuff. Thank you. Uh, so far, we still have no visual of the game. No, no draft yet, but... Yeah, no draft either. Starting... I did. No, I can't. I just know. I still have seen nothing no on my end. It's in. Oh, you don't have it because it's in the varsity. Here. Uh, I'll put it in normal league chunk. Tragic. It's a, yeah, it, it's not working on my end. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there you go. I am. There we oh. go. Okay, so the draft, uh, Blue Springs picking Jane Morgana, Urgot, all comfort picks that they've been working really well on throughout, throughout the draft. Focusing a bit of jungle bands and Nar top. My more jungle bands coming out from them. Hickman yeah. picking Vayne, Alistar, Oriana, Fanning, Seraphine, Shen, Twitch, and Zoe. All mostly comfort picks for Blue Springs and really well-rounding team characters. Yeah, not not quite as many uh, jungle bands as we saw last night coming out from Blue Springs, but still still a sizable, sizable amount wanting to keep that that early game uh, lead high. I mean, that's where they've been really the most vulnerable, I'd say. Once once we hit past 15 minutes, this brings they, us held a lead. It seems like thinks things I was playing because they banned Echo. Uh, well, counterplay coming out, but it does not look like it will actually land. But nevertheless. Yeah. And there's there's the fourth jungle ban for Blue Springs. Bands locked in. Final picks coming out. It's going to be very interesting what Hickman... Hickman decides, depending on if they've watched VODs of Blue Springs. Because you also have to bear in mind, Hickman hasn't had any breaks. True, they've been behind. They had technical difficulties at the beginning, and now they've had to basically been playing back to back games without any breaks and being able to look things up, whereas Blue Springs has had ample time to check what's going on. Yeah. All off coming out. That kind of throws a wrench in Blue Springs' comp, but I'm sure yeah. they have a way to deal with it. Yeah, the, the, uh, just. Olaf's tankiness is really, it really just doesn't work well with the Jin Morgana Urgot strat we've seen. Yeah, his R being able to just run through an enemy team and get onto Jin, and Morgana yeah. won't be able to peel. Makes it really difficult, but yeah, they should get a mid and jungle to help with that. Yep, there's the Vola Bear, there's their tank. Still, still a lot of comfort picks. Seeing as there's no Seraphine or Zoe, the mid laner is going to have to pick something that he's not picked yet this entire tournament, most likely. Um... <laughs> Maybe a Syndra, maybe a Cassiopeia. Not sure. Maybe maybe a Nico. Uh, it would be a really good one, actually. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. As we saw, I believe we saw last night. Um, yeah, yeah. But it, it all comes all comes down to what the strings. What he's comfortable in, though. Oriana. Yeah. You can play Top the best doesn't pick from enemy team either. No, oh, you can play the best matchup in the world, but if you don't know how to play the champ, you're it's, it's just not going to happen. The set coming out from mid lane. That's a pick. weird one. Very interesting pick. They are three melees into an Olaf. This might not be that great. Oriana puts her ball in Olaf. Olaf runs in, and that's a big Oriana ulti. We could see the very first loss, Blue Springs, for Blue Springs here. It's just with this team comp alone. It's not too bad, but they still have a fighting chance if they play early really well. And Asilia is coming out from Hickman. With that, no more bans, no more picks. It is all locked in. Silas is good here. He can take Volley, Set, and Urgal, even Morgana, and just go in with Olaf and Wreck House. Yeah, just the dynamic duo, just the absolute synergy. The weak fear the shadows. Fear certainly, certainly will be an interesting game. I think it's going to hinge a lot on that early game. See if the if Blue Springs can't get the lead and get basically just enough items to take down Olaf on their own. Their Depending on who gets fed and who who struggles. 
Although Urgot will have a pretty easy time to silence early, bullying him, and then maybe getting a lead yeah. all off my camp him though, so... He has to be careful of that. As we've seen, their Urgot players had a fantastic CS just throughout this bracket in general. Right. He's been doing extremely well. And Same as the bot lane. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of good early ganks as well, and we, uh... Uh, I believe Luce Franks has taken the strategy of invading more often than not. Uh, yeah, especially with this with this early game comp of Set Urgot, I think they were going to go for an invade. Yeah, for sure. They have a really strong one. And with Luce Franks being on blue, um, I definitely I definitely think they're going to try and invade bottom, get that... Might try to get Urgot ahead. Get him... Yeah. He is on strong side right now, so this yeah. would be really good for him if he can bully Silas and get a big lead. Yeah. But uh, still, some Vayne is a really good counter to this. Their comp, though, she will shut. She will be able to get Urg off off of herself, full of bear and set, and do massive damage because of her true damage. W. Yeah, so Springs hasn't really hasn't really seen a Vayne in bracket yet. There's not a whole lot of uh, known counterplay at kind of at this level so far. Nothing in this tournament, at least. You used to yeah, so, she'll be really good at dodging Jin W. Or sorry, yeah, Jin W. Yeah. It's the movement speed, but no Udir pick from from their jungle. Instead, going with Alistar, which, because as we've seen, is Jin kind of it's it slapped around there Jin Morgana quite a bit actually. Alistar's strong, but into Morgana, I'm not sure. Her block yeah. shield makes it where Jin can reliably get away. Yeah, so. And all I it all ultimately comes down on what what team strategy they ultimately go to. This is awkward for mid lane though. Yeah. Set and Doriana, Oriana bullies him, but once she runs out of mana, Set just gets free reign to shove wave and roam before her. Yeah. What's interesting is they pull out the Evola Bear again. He's been very just consistent throughout every single one of Blue Springs drafts, working really well for them. Yeah, just just pulling through in the jung pulling through jungle. His the Volibear's play of jungle clear has been really nice. Been able to get in into enemy jungle and invade a little bit even. Yeah, his initiate's really good, but I don't know who's gonna I don't really know how he's gonna initiate under this one. Yeah. His best bet's probably going on to Silas or Oriana. Vayne's gonna be too far back and she's gonna go invisible in team fights with him. she at six. Yeah. Alistar, he's she's he's just gonna push him away. Um all off runs room too. It's a weird little bit awkward, I feel. Yeah, Volibear, Mikman Volibear, may have a better draft. Volibear just can't take the take the one v ones as he's had historically in these matchups in this in this bracket. Just uh, basically Oriana and Silas, there's two options, and honestly, those lanes are already locked down enough, and you don't want to take away uh, XP from your Urgots. Right. So it's it certainly will be very very interesting to see how. Sorry. Very, very interesting to see how Blue Springs tries and tries to get around this draft. Because, but you know, I'm, I'm making an early game prediction here. I think we might see Blue Springs first loss. It's definitely possible. Um, I think if the set can pull through and get early game roams, and they pull Volley set ahead, that'd be really good. Yeah, but. Uh, not sure. Urga and Silas both will have to deal with mana problems top lane, and it might come down to jungle. Yeah, I think that I think Ur we're Blue Springs really is going to come down to it. They're just going to have to focus on on their Urgot, Urgot and their Morgana. Jin is just going to have to kind of go by the wayside for this match, unfortunately. Most likely, yeah. Oh, I see. The set is meant to be an Ari. It was a misclick mm. or something in the draft. That would make a bit more sense. Yeah, we haven't seen we haven't seen Set at all in this bracket actually. Yeah, he's not the greatest right now. Ari, a weird pick, but I feel it still has the good engage of Zoe and Seraphine, where you get a charm on someone and just yeah. pick them right away. But you can't get that on Olaf. You can't really get that on Alistar either. Hitting our uh, Vayne's gonna be hard because of Q. So again, with the Oriana Silas thing, but they're both Oriana's gonna be backline. And Silas has an ability to dodge, but it's not as big as Vayne's. His is a much bigger cooldown. It can't be baited out.
with that though, instead of Set being able to shove and roam, it seems that I think Ari still does have a better clear early than Oriana, so they may still be able to do the same thing where they shove and roam for jungle. Yeah. Yes, and as confirmed by the spectator, we are we are seeing the Ari instead of the set. Good deal. So I can spectate and then screen share it. Deal. Game getting ready to start. We'll see how this means she's to start off this match with an invade or a five point as they've been liking to do. One or the other. Yeah. <sighs> Finally getting started here. Going into round one versus Hickman High School. This and seems to be a really good matchup between them. Both the top tier teams of this bracket. Yeah. Both top tier teams, but Hickman coming out on top on the draft, it seems like. Possibly. Yeah, we're watching. Renton with a Conqueror Teleport rather than Ignite PTA. Seems he's going to be going for a safer lane and be roaming with TP to help bot lane or somewhere else. Have a better split push. But he loses his kill pressure. Olaf choosing to go for the Flash instead of Ghost this time. Mm -hmm. Some pretty standard rune picks coming out from everyone. Nothing, nothing different too wildly from what good old poor professor would say. Jin with the fleet going safe instead of Dark Harvest. Yep. A lot Honestly, of safety in these in this early. It's showing in drafts, a lot of safety. People are yeah. a bit scared. Yeah, I'm understandably. I, I would be too. We're facing the uh, the only other kind of big dog team in this bracket and right. you, you just got out drafted. You've gotta you've gotta play. It's not play those it's long still games. not too bad at drafts. No, but this brings it, is, it, it does feel a little bit like a 50 45, though. 55 50 yeah. 45. The Springs has historically had that edge. As long as they play early correctly, though, they will take that lead in Snowball. Svein and Silas will take a little bit to come online. For sure. Oh, looks like Hickman is going for an invade, perhaps. Roger's not there. I don't know. Uh, Alistar is not great at invading. No. Mulgana would be better. Yeah, they're going for five point. Bear. Yep. Hick yeah. going for the five point. It appear. Yeah. Appears that uh Blue Springs going for a more of a four point. Yeah. Mid lane meeting. Bottom lane having a grand old time. We're not Dance party. Oh wait. Vane nope, staying nearby your jungle. Smart. Flexing by flexing the rank. M7's oh. coming up. Silas? Yeah, Silas has Ignite and not TP. He wants kill pressure on lane, but killing Ari. Her R makes her really safe. Yeah. And she has a stain from her Q. Silas has to risk a lot going in for and Wing to get heal health back. You know, honest, honestly, I think it would have taken TP. I think, because you can't make up that deficit just with summary spells, unfortunately. Right. And to... Ari will bully him with Qs and autos and force him to back. Yeah. He has fleet to a... mitigate some of that, but. The TP is a much safer option. Yeah, TP having that lane pressure for team fights, just being able to um, be everywhere on the map is such so huge. Bottom lane helping out with jungler, nothing too exciting. Both bot lanes helping jungler, meaning that the junglers will meet topside at crab, and yeah. maybe have a team fight breakout. Three v three. If that does happen, I think. Blue Springs comes out on top there, assuming their laners play wave correctly. Yeah. Uh, nothing exciting happening in the lane, lane quite yet. Some good CC coming out. But. Bot lane farming. Yeah, bot lane farming, ladies and gentlemen. The most exciting part of the game. It appears Silas is somehow pushing into Oriana. Uh, Volivare coming up. Oh, uh, no, the wave shoving back into him, though. Yeah, wave shoving back into Hickman, and Elder but he, is... but their Blue Springs mid does have a health advantage. Yeah, they could go for an early, really early game gank here. Nah, I don't think it's to. possible. Ari Chom shuts down ganks too easily. No trade coming up from top yet. If she does, 
let this wave build up and crash this next coming wave, she can definitely help guarantee Scuttle for her jungler. Looks like Olaf is Vision uh, on top side. He's getting getting faster far. Olaf coming to the top side. Oh, already gank coming in. Going gank? Gank Will Urgot top. die? Ooh, Urgot super low. The Q, but waste flash coming up from top lane. Flash. Will he have eaten time to get away? I don't think so. Ooh, this may it, may be a first blood. Yep, there it is. Blood going to Hickman. Ugh, a tragedy. Does Volibear get? Does Volibear get scuttled though? Does Volibear get Olaf? Is he was? It would appear. Low. He does get scuttled. Volibear does get the scuttle, guaranteed. Good. Yeah. Right, nice to to walk off. Bit. Does he go for second scuttle? You might. You first might blood can first blood can be mitigated a little bit by jungler getting double scuttle and affecting the map. This can be really big. Yeah. Olaf sure. is slightly ahead in gold, only by like about a hundred or two hundred now though. Once he yeah, gets the second scuttle. Lane, not concerned about jungle at all. They don't need to be. They have the prior. They know they'll win yeah. the fight if something happens. Yeah, and he is going to get second scuttle. Seeing about very very even. Gold. This is really good. They get really good vision and a really good golden jungler. I think I think that was a worse trade. I think. Mm, no, because top laner loses his flash and now Renekton has more prior with TP. But it does make it a bit more even. Yeah. Still, summoner difference will be a big thing for top lane, not being able to help out bot lane. Renekton oh. could look for a TP if there's ever a ward behind uh, Blue Springs bot lane. Yeah, Blue Springs getting their top lane shoved and bottom lane getting shoved from Hickman. Uh, no gold lead yet, though. Well, very, very close. From very even team. game, so. Which is what Blue Springs really does like to see. Their early game. Definitely the the weaker of the two, I'd say. Uh, yeah, and the thing way. is they have to try to focus on performing better early here. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's still not lost. They still have the ability to make a, a lead here. Renekton kind of... Forcing Urgot to not freeze. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be slowly pushing back into him. This is making it really hard for Ryan. Great vision in top lane though. And here's uh, Blue Spring bottom lane does not know what is going on. Hang in the good old question mark. Good trade coming out. Morgana misses Bind, but she black shields Jin. Hickman going for an all in on Jin. Jin having to get away. Oh, flash from Vayne too. Whip. There's the auto and. Jin will go like down. Morgana is dead here, unfortunately. No, oh, Morgana still has flash. flash. She walks out. out. Flash from Alistar, too. Yeah. Sadly, oh. come out worse in the trade because Vayne gets a kill. She will begin scaling really quickly. Jin losing both summoner spells here, unfortunately. Yeah, only be able to get boots, too. He's going for safety now. He can't build damage. He didn't have enough Ooh, money. And Urgot trying to fight breaking out top jungle. Urgot helping out with jungle and Bolivar flashing out. A little taunt. Airy coming up, a very early team battle. Oh, and Volibear, Volibear is dying dead here. after getting out too. Tragic. Urgot is most likely very unfortunate misplay. Here. Well, um, with no flash to protect him. Urgot may be going for the outplay. Out. No. Ooh. Silas gets a W off again. Ari is definitely. Ari can't going... deal with that. And Ari, Ari is a sh moving. Gonna Silas will leave her. Back wow, lane. Silas came out almost full health again. A beautiful trade coming out. Yeah, oh, and he has Dark Seal stacking it early. This is really making it difficult for Blue Springs now. They've lost early game. Ooh, Riot losing its connection to the servers here for a moment. Oh no, no, no. Um, yeah. With the upcoming, after everything that just happened in that top fight. Drag fight early is not going to be really awkward, and I think Hickman just takes their lead that they have now and snowball and win the game. Yeah. Yeah, with a 2k gold advantage this early, and... Bruce Springs has to hope for a big outplay or shutdown. Yeah. Sure. Only 1k gold difference, but yeah. the 1k is on the people who matter a lot. Olaf, Silas, Vayne. This is a big problem for Blue Springs. Yeah. Blue Springs having the better farm overall, though. And the mechanics could see them kind of start to even out that gold difference. Yeah, if if the farm difference does maintain like it is, they'll mitigate a lot of the lead that Hickman's gained. Server seem to be working again. We're back into the game. Huzzah. Drag has been taken by Hickman. Oh, Silas seems to have gotten another kill in that time. 
Blue Springs traditionally having gotten and priority to all of those dragons. I believe what they got all three dragons, all three matches last night. Something something's different about so. Blue Springs today. Just a little rattled maybe from that early team fight. And Silas going for Airy again. Oh, Airy going tanking about forty percent health now. Unfortunate stuff. Ari got building to Ninja Tab. He's trying to scale. I don't think we'll ever be able to one-shot him anymore, but Alistar hovering to mid lane, looking for possible dive. Yeah. Has flex, Hex Flash Ooh, and Bolivar Ignite coming up. Oliver, yeah, Oliver getting invaded. Oh. Mid lane is vacant, and Oliver putting on the sirens, grabbing. Ari getting a sh kill on Alistar after the failed dive. Wow. Uh, ah, but she's in an awkward spot now. Oh, she's not gonna. I don't get out think of she walks out of this. Nope. Silas just getting too positioned too All well. Olaf having Pryo and enemy jung or er, Wildcat's jungle. They have to give uh, this up. Bottom lane having a great open farm. They, I think we're gonna see him getting at least uh, one and a half, one plate at least, probably half on their second. 4-0 Silas making this game really difficult. Seems he's gonna be building into the Le Leandries or Everfrost. The TP coming out from Aerie. And Silas so backing. The... Oh no! Seems to be hovering top lane, roaming up for the fight. Fight is up oh. top. Urgot losing a lot of health. They seem to be losing this fairly convincingly. Up. And oh, you hate to see it. Urgot getting As killed the for. <sighs> Urgot Silas diving in, taking volley ult. Volberg gets Volibar's caught. Dead here. Wow, he gets bursted down insanely oh, quickly. Full stack two. Dark Seal on the Silas. Out farming RE2 and having to kill lead. This is looking very devastating. Two and eight right now. Going into minute ten. Oh, hate to see it. 3k gold difference now. Oh. Game's getting harder and harder as it goes on. Yeah, Blue Springs. It's not looking too good for our heroes. Oh, a good root coming out from Morgana. Nothing, not going to get anything off Vayne of it. Vayne are though. though. Running down will, bot lane. They will get Bot lane just has to walk out. Power. Jin on his fourth shot. Could try to poke. Nope. Playing it safe again. A, a very consistent strategy coming out from Blue Springs. Maybe not safe enough though, looking at the yeah. scoreboard. <laughs> Sadly. Leandri's full bot. First mythic item of the match for Silas. Unfortunate. He will scale really well here. Blue He's already outscaled Ari. The early CC lead that might have saved them, but. Too many deaths and too many, too much out of lane. Oh, Jin R or Jin, Jin shot missing here. Unfortunate. Silas cleared bot lane vision. Ooh, big, big level advantages coming out on jungle or on jungle and on mid lane. Unfortunate. Hickman nearing a All of 4K bottom. gold lead. Maybe trying to force this team fight in the Blue Strings' favor, make up some of those lost kills. This force yeah, fight doesn't seem good here, though. Silas roaming down. Volber's gone. Volley's going in. They have oh, the Silas roam. RER I'm coming out from Silas. Fighting under tower. Killing them. Tower, tower diving. Down. It looks like Morgana stays Morgana living. And doesn't there live there. Cleanse coming out from Vayne, though. And the Ooh. shutdown. One kill. Morgana getting a kill. Kind of even out the dive. Silas maintaining his. 6-0 lead though. Rift Herald coming out Urk. top lane here. And looks like Urk. that will be from top lane tower. There you, first tower goes to Hickman. No, more gold coming to them. Almost yeah. 5k gold lead. This is becoming I'm, more and more devastating as the I game goes know. on. Blue Springs need to stop hanging out material and giving the lead to Hickman. Yeah. Second dragon isn't even come up yet and they've already 10-3 looking really bad. It is rough. Dragon but is up. Olaf seems to be pathing to the bot side. Balin does have Fry over them. This uh, this mountain dragon will be very good for Hickman if they can get it. Even more, making their Olaf even beefier. Yeah, if this game goes oh. to full soul, Ocean Soul is going to be big for Hick uh, Hickman's side. Having Renekton, yeah. and Olaf, Alistar with. Silas even, all with Ocean Soul, makes them all really hard to kill. Yeah. Good or Windrake. Windrake giving our cooldown. Oh, devastating. Volibear waiting in the Volibear, hovering. He pounces. 
Jin getting the combo. Pops off. on Alistar. Alistar R's. Gets out of the CC. Silas there. Sails all off. That's Ari three. trying to help, but getting shoved off. Over here, Ari backing off. Giving an, keeping advantage. Maybe looking for a man. tower dive. But Wildcat's falling, oh, going okay. away. Morgana Silas eats through the wall. Might be dead here. And Morgana gets caught and dies. Uh, top lane fighting again. Yeah, top lane. Violent Ari got having to run away. Just a uh, Ari shoving in wave, trying to gain some gold back for herself. It's smart, just Morgana's, Morgana's untimely death is all that has happened. But... Hickman's bot side now getting a lot of gold too. They have full map priority. There's nothing yeah. Hogcats can really do here, with vision or without. It doesn't matter. They just do not win team fights right now. But they have to take next fight. It's a close. This is the closest they will ever be again. Hickman will just continue snowballing. Resident seems to have gotten caught top lane. Volibear chasing him down. Ergot R yoinks him, gets the shutdown for himself, gets him back Good. a little bit into the game. Level 9, Ergot has hit his final Pyro Spike. Now he just needs to build items and become a massive team fighter. Yeah. And honestly, the item build, it's he might be able to even it out if he capitalizes on his Pyro Spike enough. Taking, taking waves, getting good CC. Ari unable to match Silas' shove right now because Silas just has such a big AP advantage. Yeah. Has the Merc Treads too, playing it safe still, even with this massive lead, keeping himself alive longer. And unable to be CC'd for as long. Yeah, oh, Avery looks like they're going to try and roam and dive on Avery here. Gets collapsed on. Roamed on and dies. Tragic. Avery did not get to play the game for that for that life, unfortunately. But Three Mythics on the side of Hickman. Yeah. Well, compared to Wildcats 1. Be it's not looking great. Her. 6k gold lead. Urgot yeah, it's looking diving into the rough. Bush. Uh, flash. flash but... Burning flash there for Olaf. This might not be that great. Burning flash for a 2 4 Urgot. Yeah. He gets gold, but he does lose a flash for it. Drake coming up. He'll probably have it back by then. Maybe it was a good flash. Yeah. Think caught at an untimely time. Oops. Getting a whiff here from Morgana. No reads, fortunately. Mrs. Jin W can't capitalize on Bali. Hits the Morgana bind though, but just can't hop in. Alistar hovering, unable to jump in because of him. Yeah. Urgot finally Silas. making back to his top lane. Catching his wave. Silas has Volibear ult. Oh, yeah. Volibear coming to the bot lane, engaging. Renekton TP comes out. As for the Urgot TP, looking for the team fight, but they all just back off, burn summoners. Unfortunate. Uh, back now to team fight. No third dragon, not even close yet, but Blue Springs roaming, roaming mid, roaming jungle. Morgana taking the solo, trying to grab some intel. Rift Herald coming up nearby Olaf. Yeah, he may like take it and just try to open up mid lane for his team. It looks like no one is really interested in... Can't stop him either. Yeah. Silas roaming up with him, hovering, making sure no one collapses on him. Yeah. Urgot going back, just back to his top lane and... Head back Ball into fighting. a very typical laning phase here. Morgana making Morgana it Morgana burns Dude. the flash. Alistar picks it up. Jin with the cleanup on the vein though, and Ooh. possibly getting their Alistar here because of the Volibear stun. Oh, and Jin R coming Jin out. Jin R comes out. Oh, a whiff on the first shot. Three whiffs. Ooh. Fourth shot doesn't kill. Stun on Volibear. Move speed. The W cleans up the Man. Alistar. There we go. The Urgot offense. getting two manned again. Ooh. Sadly. Wherever Blue Spring seems uh -huh. to try and get a lead, they capitalize somewhere else and uh, continue fun. maintaining their... Oh, almost. Yeah, just a straight up 8k gold lead over Hickman. Looking super rough. Unfortunately. Those things just they just can't mitigate it right now. They their map awareness and their team play I don't think it's just quite quite on the same level as Hickman. Hickman's just able to recognize any exploitation. Rift Herald coming up top lane and pathing bot lane. All it's gonna get most likely the third drag of the game. Bane running down Jin, not giving him a chance. There's no way Jin can do anything here. Dies. Yeah. Bobear trying to collapse on Bobear? Olaf, Ari not doing any damage. That's the problem with Ari is that when she's behind, she becomes fairly useless other than being a CC bot. 
Yeah. Silas having the damage and the opportunity to steal enemy team's ult, he's always going to be good in this game. And with the yeah. with that, Magia's Soul Stealer, he's going to scale even harder. Both top lane turrets coming down here from Rift Herald, and Ocean Dragon is up. Well, will we Pick see the tri the Triple Dragon coming in from Hickman? Just like it seems like it. Long ago, Ranton coming down too for the fight. It's a five v four. Urgot's it's top Morgana lane. They have to give this. Yeah, Morgana's yeah, dead. Here. They can't lose another player. This is becoming horrible. And there we go. There's the, the Triple Dragon coming out from. Hickman. It is it is not looking too good for our heroes here. Jin stopping Vayne's going. back. Will he be able to capitalize? No, it doesn't seem like it. There's a lot of vision for Hickman in the Blue Springs jungle. Urgot getting a free top lane, but Urgot choosing Not to so back. free for long if he has to pay the price of mispositioning. Yes. It Silas. seems like they're going to try to collapse on him. Ooh, Silas misses he, the E. He, makes he gets the out TP. for free. He makes out like a bandit. Getting a Bramble Vest and Titanic Hydra. No Mythic item coming out of the Urgot yet. Unfortunately. But that is... Honestly, I don't think he'll go for his Mythics quite quite, quite so he's soon. He's just going to keep looking at scale, I guess. Mm -hmm. Olaf sitting on a GA. Looks like he's going to maintain his bounty for a lot longer. Not gonna be able to t he's going to take one death and be able to come out of it. Yeah, I'll start collapsing on the Bola Bear. Bain not doing anything about it. Yeah. Just some, just some pretty typical trades coming out from jungle. So, Silas trying to grab the Urgot with his, with his Q and. Silas not having the mana to maintain his fight, maybe. Ooh. Getting shut down. And there he is, a 1k. Urgot tries to run out, doesn't live long enough though. Renekton running through the team. Alistar trying to keep him alive in CC. Olaf coming in finally. Ooh, it looks like Bane will shut here, down the Volibear. Olaf running Jim down to ADC. Also dead. Unfortunately, we could see a, we could see the first ace. No, Morgana able to withdraw and make it out Morgana alive. Morgana makes it out. Whew. The sole survivor. Definitely. Oh, and it Pikmin looks like we're taking going the Baron. Baron at 20 minutes as it spawns. This is Ooh. this is gonna give them another 1,500 gold lead on top of the 10k they already have. Looking yeah. really awful. If they, if it looks like they're going to get Baron, Lucifer just does not have the manpower to contest it right now. And with that, I do think the game is over at this point. Yeah, Such it is almost impossible for Blue Springs to make a comeback here. If Hickman keeps playing correctly, <laughs> if Blue Springs does make their comeback, somebody, somebody start calling Team Liquid. They've got some new players to sign. I don't know. After playing the early so badly, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Making a comeback at this point in the game after having a Silas did lose his Medjai stacks though, only back down to six, but he does have a full uh, hourglass, making it really hard to kill him again. He has less damage, but he has more survivability. Urgot's still not coming out with any mythics. Building into Gore Drinker, it seems. Yeah. Gonna be a late spike for him. Collapsing on Silas, Volibear Bear going in. Morgana and Looking Ari good. trying to collapse. Volley R comes up from Silas. Gets charmed. Silas is dead here. Good collapse. Picking Ugh. up a kill there. And mid is but wide they do open. Seem to lose taking mid lane. solo against. Morgana Baron. has to back off here. He cannot stop this push. Oh, Volbear. No. Oh. Can't take those three. Volbear and Morgana. Nah, they can't do anything here. Reactin no. shoving the top wave, trying to get inhib turrets. Top lane being left wide open, finally shoving the team fight over into top. They have to roam as a team, try to collapse on one person. It's really difficult for them to get a pick. Yeah. Hey, Hickman can just play this, play this beautifully and just stay together. But this marks almost all of Blue Spring's lane turrets are gone, leaving only bot lane tier one left. We're gonna try to clear vision in the top jungle, but almost dying for it. Olaf shoving the top wave again, shoving the blue springs so they have to catch the top turret and then collapsing back on the dragon, getting the soul point here most likely. Unless some yeah. crazy steal happens, this is looking extremely decisive for Hickman. Silas farming jungle, deciding not to partake in the team game. Doesn't really seem to need to. Blue springs are still no. respecting the three in bot lane. 
five man as they sh as are they all should. hovering bot lane currently. It's Baron minions. And... We're gonna back. This is a five v four. They're just gonna keep taking objectives. Blue Springs can't maintain any turrets. They're up back under hind heels. All only inhib turrets out now. Whereas Hickman has most are tier ones. Dragon coming up soon. Five seconds. Lane's all shoving towards Blue Springs. All Blue Springs can do here is catch waves and wait till their untimely demise. Yeah, unfortunately. But, you know, you just gotta make it as even as possible. It's just training at this point. You gotta, if they can, if Blue Springs can spec out Hickman and what kind of some of their habits, they might be able to catch him asleep at the wheel, game two. Game two, they're gonna look for a better draft. They got. They had got put in an awkward situation because of how they picked and banned. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, we yeah, we might see, um, like last night, we might see a, a five jungle ban coming out from Blue Springs, just not wanting to have such an oppressive Olaf. Right. Junglers have been tearing up the Summoner's Rift recently. Finally getting nerfed next patch, but we're not there yet. So you'll have to deal with them. Release There's a soul no coming out for Ekman. Uh, <sighs> is still farming jungle. Minutes later. Getting a blue buff allows him to stand the map longer, not have to worry about mana. No stacks on Medjai's down. Might end up selling it just to finish his what seems to be death cap. Baron's over with by now. And a lot more completed Silas items. going bottom. And still no mythic from Urgot. Unfortunately, he it will has a lot more completed game. items. Yeah, they yeah. catch the volley. Volley flash R's. Airy trying to contest that lot, Silas on live. bottom. Finally collapsing in on him. Not going to be able to get anything though, unfortunately. Oh, a good route from Morgana. Jin's able to capitalize on it. Just a little bit, but doesn't get anything else off of it. Silas currently carrying around Ariel. Honestly, one of the better choices. Gotta say. Gives him a lot of survivability solo winning, where he is right now, shoving bot lane. No one can match him. He may get a free inhib turret here if no one shows up. They, they well, going down can. to help. They are guaranteeing they want, they want this bot lane inhib. They want to start opening up the map. They get bot, bot lane inhib. They take another Baron, and that's GG. Shove in. Blue Springs has to sit there and deal with it. Silas still still just roaming bot. He, he is hungry for it. It is extremely low. Might just kill the Jin. Try to one shot him. Burns his hourglass. Make sure he lives. Uses RER. Going in, flashes after the Jin. Jin sidesteps oh, the whip grab and makes it to the fountain no, and lives. No Silas laser. trying to walk out now. Oh, and Jin R coming gets, out and Silas is dead shut for Shut down by Urgot. But they did get the inhibitor off it, so I'm, they get I'm gonna both. say this is a worthwhile this trade for Hickman. This is still extremely worthwhile for Rickman. Yep, now they go to Baron and end the game. Yeah. Blue Springs has to make a steal here, or a play. Without if it, they, they just the lose steal, the game in the next five huge. minutes. They will be able to push. They will either be able to push top lane or bottom lane. All the they'll way in. They won't be able to even up the gold difference though. 13k uh, to Hickman. Difference. Unfortunately, so they burst down like that Blue Baron will be able too to quickly. Baron. Yeah, and Baron almost dead here. Ooh. Goes down. Take Lucky. they all take a reset. All the waves are shoved in. They can just take go back to base and take all the time in the world they need. Yeah, two in Hibs. They now Blue Strings just has to respect every wave. Yeah, Blue Sitting. Strings has to try to shove these back and give them as much time as possible, but. They, I don't think they'll live through this Baron buff. They have Hickman has three minutes to shut down this end this game just right now. Yeah, just hurrying up and wait is the motto of Blue Springs right now, fortunately. It seems like Hickman's going for the top inhib and trying to get all three inhibs and guaranteeing they do not throw this game at all. Yeah, living, disrespect leaving Blue Springs with no chance. Ugh. They don't want to risk anything here. Shoving out mid Renekton, rubbing bot now to shove out bot lane. Yeah. Silas and Alistar shoving out top lane. Olaf coming and trying to collapse on mid. Seems to just be clearing vision in the jungle, suffocating yeah. the Volibear more. 
make me unable, unable to farm. The spring Bober has been saved with the push into top, support that support the Urgot. Urgot finally getting a score drinker after. I was getting stunned, but nothing happens out of it. Urgot is sitting pretty now with his mythic. Ranekton pushing bottom. Oh, and he will be met by Jin and Morgana. Urgot is strong here, but is he strong enough to save the game? We'll have to see if the team fight works out really well in Blue Spring's favor. Having the best CC on here, he will. He does have the most gold lead. I don't think he can do quite the uh, quite the hyper carry. That he Rain needs, will just but... gun gun him down. That true damage hurts him so much because of all the health he built. Doesn't matter how much shit he does. Rain shuts him down very easily. Urgot, having to back off. To get some health here back from his from Gore Drinker, trying to get some vamp in. There we go. Last turret coming down. Blue Only Springs down to their Nexus turrets. All three inhibs coming down for them. Oh. Elder Dragon coming up in a few minutes, but I don't think Hickman needs it. They seem to be shutting down the game right here. Right next to Burning Ult, have to stay alive. And One they just tower dive everyone, down. and that might be not an ace, but that's most of Blue Springs roster going down. Unable to just stop this massive push. This shit under laser. That's GG. First game over. Oh. Blue Springs first loss here to Hickman. Very dominating from Hickman. A tragedy from beginning to end. We will have to see how Blue Springs comes back and tries to draft again. So yeah, see if they can pull it out in game two. See if they can't get some better team comp and just something they're a little more comfortable with in general. But I don't think there was much Blue Springs could have done there. They would have just had to pretty much just straight up out.
Okay. Welcome back. After Blue Strings' tragic first loss, we are back here in game two against Hickman High. Joining me in the booth, Nick Whitaker, Thicky Nicky, playing last game. Nick, what are your thoughts on, on this new team comp? This new team comp? Well, I think it's very interesting, especially with the Hecarim Twisted Fate. The Twisted Fate is a great pick for the bot lane. Like, actually, tremendous. Because... That's a big focal, uh, vocal point for this team is the bot lane carries through Jyn and yeah. Morgana. So what was what was one of the focal points Blue Strings was going through when they were picking their bands? Um, I think they definitely tried to target the top laner. Or not the top laner, the jungler. The jungler is a very good player. He farms very well. He passes very well. He ganks very well. He does everything like really well. And then they threw the Silas ban because we saw what happened last game. Yeah, yeah. And that Olaf's just absolutely shredding through them. But here we are, game two, starting up. I think Blue Springs going for what appears to be a an early a four point. Maybe Actually, early young. I'm not sure because Urgot's top. So no, yeah, be a five point start. Yeah, five five point start. Pretty standard stuff. No, definitely got a little less gusto they did in round than in uh, round one, but. Yep. Seem to play a little bit more calm and reserved compared to, sure. compared to earlier. Yeah. Uh, still seeing the Jin Morgana pick for bot lane. Very comfortable pick we've seen. Uh, no more. Drop the Vala Bear. Uh, yep. Jin Morgana is a very strong combo through the Morgana route into the Jin W. Very strong. Very long range. Very strong. Yeah. A Yone trying coming out from mid lane that will that's going to be very hard for blue strings to come come past as he counters most four of, the team. of them yeah. yeah it's be very rough i don't know how they're going to deal with it they have to track the wind wall cooldown you might very precisely blue strings. blue strings heading into losers unfortunately but very standard stuff lead. yeah top lane's helping with jungle that means both both junglers starting top lane. They will find themselves fighting for, over Scuttle and Bot later. Ugh. Yeah, that's how Bot can get early prior. Same thing with mid lane, so they get that early skirmish off, hopefully. Yeah. If Jin if Jin and Morgana can shove into shove into red top red bottom lane, they might be able to gank jungle er, really early. I mean pretty standard stuff across the board so far. Safe yeah. laning. No one, no one making any any ballsy decisions. No one's risking it for the biscuit quite yet. Now, when it comes to the scuttle fight, though, bot lane has a pretty bad early game. Yeah. So it's gonna be interesting to see how red side deals with this. You're nice spotting, trying to see an early ward here, trying to get scuttle. Oh, and top lane taking some trades. Yeah, that might be problematic for later on. Who knows? Urgot taking oh. around 40% health and ganking mid lane. Yone will make it out alive, though. Windfall saving him. Ugh. Yeah, this Yasuo's going to be very hard to gank. Yeah. Through the wind wall, it's going to be hard. Good, good matchup knowledge. Trying to, trying to get him out of the game early. Trying to get him with that gold deficit. Trying to get his CC out of here. Also, it does seem that bot lane is getting bot lane prio for the fight at Scuttle. Scuttle's spawning very soon, and there we go. Scuttle's up. It'd be very hard for red team to win this. They have a very late game team comp oriented, so. I think I think if hard. top lane can, or not oh, top lane, if here top comes. can hold out, hold out mid. The headcrim seems to be late to the Scuttle. Oh, they're backing off. That, yeah, it seems like the play. Just give it up. Yeah. Oh, did they get it? Yeah. Oh, Scuttle oh, yeah. is still on the field. They could, but it looks like they're not going to contest, and Blue Strings will get it. Instead, opting nice. maybe. And maybe the Kane just gets the top, top side. Scuttle. Not bad, actually. Yeah. A, a fairly decent trade. Oh, oh are we going to see a dive? Oh, here Diving it onto Tower as Urgot is absolutely struggling for health right now. And there he goes. Urgot's dead. First kill going to Hickman. Yone getting 
trying to push him out of his lane, trying to push mid out of his lane with Windwall, trying to just keep him, deny him from his creep score. Looks like Yasuo's gonna back after shoving it in. He's probably gonna back and get a boot, boot and some. Very good wave management. Baggers. Finally seeing Scuttle dying here in top lane. Yeah, but Kane's playing this very well. Yeah. Seems was able to successfully give it up. Very good. Despite their despite their bans, are not going to be able to find the sauce that they need in order to make sure this Hick, that Hickman does not have such a dominant early game as they did last time. Mm -hmm. I mean, so far it seems to be pretty even. Blue Springs is down like 800 gold-ish, so... But it's always recoverable. That's not a huge amount. Especially 800 in early gold, game. not a deficit. Still very, very even. But... Who knows? Maybe with the better draft, Blue Springs can pull it, pull it back together. Yeah, let's hope when the Twisted Fate hits level 6, we can start seeing some rums down to bot lane and getting the gin ahead. Dragon is on the field now. There's, no one's going... No one, I don't think, will go for it this early, but... Who knows? Hick, Hickman it could have have the gusto to go for oh, it. Oh, here it goes. Oh, this game. might be oh, a kill root, secure. Nothing. Oh. Alistar oh, I think they get Alistar, though. Here. Alistar is definitely dead here. There we go. Oh, I think they get... The kill. A oh, double oh, kill oh, coming from and bottom. we're gonna this live. This is huge. This is huge. And we're gonna live. Blue That's strings. massive. Ooh, jungle just sitting down there. But a good old control ward, recognizing. Oh, that is going to be very big for Blue Springs, evening up the gold, gold lead, and getting kills. That's that's definitely got to have some effect on Hickman. Got to shake that off. Especially Jen getting them. Oof. Oof. Jen having that gold lead, nef never anything you want to see. We could see some trouble in mid lane. Yeah, Yone is, is going to get a solo kill. Do here, unfortunate stuff. No one's no one has gone or called a dragon yet. A very surprising decision, all things considered. It seems like TF is very down in XP. Yeah. Level six starting to peak up. Yone has his ult, and. Blue Springs is, looks like they are very close to getting most of theirs. Pod lane back down, just playing. Simple farming. Jungler. Looks like Kane's going for an invade. Yeah. Are we going to see a collapse? Prob possibly. He will collapse. He will wait and bush. He's just warden. He's, he's biding his time. And how much health he can get on. On him. Oh, and there we go. The collapse in. Hecarim did hit six from that Gromp, so that is actually massive. He might be dead here. A team fight brewing here. Oh, oh they hit him with a slow oh. and stun, and he is. He should be dead That's... here. There he goes. They, 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 they have double, to disengage. No, Erdot is so. struggling for health. Yone, absolutely. Oh, a nice sidestep. Out from Yone. You hate to see it, oh. folks. Going under tower, not caring. No tower shots, though. Stu, oh, and Stu get might get the kill here. This no, Stu has to be careful. Be TF to, Twisted Fate doesn't have a lot of damage solo. Twisted Fate, no, no stun hit. Oh, and he is oh, dead here. And they pick up oh, the kill. There we go. Twisted That's Fate massive. Backing now. Now, while that fight did happen, Bane did seem to pick up a kill on the Morgana in bot lane. So uh, unfortunate. That was interesting. Shows the volatility of this game. Oh, and. Twisted looks like is dead here. Yasuo gets Tragic. another kill. This Yasuo, Yasuo is going to be a problem. Yasuo is going to take plating. Scary. Oh, he's backing off. Unfortunate. Still very even in kills. Still fairly even in gold. As, as we head into minute eight. And it looks like Blue Springs is going to try and take Dragon early. That's not bad. They need to pick Morgana. up all the Drakes and... Um... I don't even know what they dragons. They just, yeah, they just need to pick them all up. Every advantage yeah. you can get. Yeah. Especially in the early game. Morgana seeing. And there we go. Blue Springs getting first dragon. This, it's st much more even Very than close. last games. Very close. Yeah. You love to see it, folks. Oh, 
Organa soloing now, waiting for her gin. And it looks like Organa has to be careful, be but he might, he might be able to kill Ooh. the chain. Missed the ult. Nope. He's dead here. He might pick it up, Ignite though. Nice. Take one with him. Oh, and, and he gets out. Off. Does he get out? Ooh. Oh, nope. Close. Ignite takes him. Tragic. The funniest damage in the game. Ugh. Summoner spells. So, just so, so important for these matchups. And Jungle is just going in, diving. Making it out of oh, life, might, though. If Twisted Fate comes down, they might be able to pick up the, at least the Alistar, hopefully. Ooh. Alistar. Oh, looks like. They have Morgana ult, seems like. Oh, that's mm -hmm. sad. Morgana not push, not trying to push your luck. She's made it out of a lot of tight situations so far. And having one death on her. Jin having no death so far. Very surprising. Very good, though. The Jin is the carry this game. Yeah, Jin, Jin definitely needs to just scale up and, you know, get, 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 get a chiropractor like yeah. appointment, yeah. appointment because he will be carrying oh. four summoners on his back. Alistar roaming in. And Jin might see his first and makes it out oh. alive. Beautiful stuff. Jin playing it just so well. Alistar struggling for health, unfortunately. No ult from Alistar. Very good. Yasuo diving in. Got another Mr. solo Tate, kill. Will end up picking up the kill. This is putting Hickman securely into the gold lead. Almost having 4k. Yeah, the Yasuo getting constant kills. He has extremely good CS. And he's picking up tower plates. That's, he that's is just what Yasuo ahead. does in this match. This team comp, he just counters so, so well. Ooh. Looks like almost trying to go for a Hecarim. If he can push past this tower, he very well might. He's picking up the... Not picking up the last... There he goes. Oh, there Hitting he goes. Got it. Looks like... No, he's just backing. No no Rift Maker yet, quite yet. No he might Rift be getting Arrow. very close to his first Mythic. Yeah, yeah well. Oh, he did actually pick it up. He picked up the Immortal oh. Shield Bow. That's massive. And he has boots. This yeah. Yasuo is going to be a force. Massive life... The, just the sustain on this Yasuo now with the, with lifesteal. That's that's Yasuo's really only only downfall. Is just he just doesn't have the health to brawl in team fights. But with Immortal Shield Bow, you definitely do. Shield Bow at this early. Oh, heading into minute twelve. Hickman having a secure gold lead is about three k out. Yeah, no towers yet though, and Blue String still having dragon. Although the Twisted Fate is behind, his gold card is still always going to be valuable. As long as he can land it on the right targets, always going to be valuable. So that's not bad. I think that's, I think that's what, one of what Blue Spring saw going into this match. They, mm -hmm. just, they need to have that, secu that secure late game push. Just yeah. Having those, having those aces up your sleeve, <laughs> metaphorically or literally in this case. <laughs> yeah. What's going to save him? Oh, and Urgot is dead here for sure. Oh, he Mix lives it with... out alive with double single digit health. This folks, right? This is what oh. makes it exciting. Oh, he Ooh. almost got on with the ult. That would have been crazy. Cracked. Ooh. Man, will choose to back a smart man indeed. But they do Turn pick up. up. They were very up behind. Up Picking up blue buff here and getting scuttled top lane twice. Uh. They're going to be very good, very securing that vision on Rift Herald. Yasuo finally taking the first turret for Hickman. Yeah, this Yasuo Looks almost good. has perfect 10 CS a minute, and looks like there's a fight. Oh, the Twisted Fate oh. ult? Twisted Will they get Fate? a double kill here? I think they Will? get a double kill. We're just letting Alistar go. Oh, no, and Viren catches nope. him. And there he goes. There you go. Beautiful stuff, a double kill here. Clearing out the bot lane. That's massive for Jin. Jin is... And it's going very like nicely. Jin and Morgana are going to try and just pick up some of this plating. Yasuo will contest, unfortunately. Oh, a beautiful wind, wind ball. Wind ball is down though. They might uh, be able Morgana to pick him up dying. here, but this they have to be big. careful. The mortal shield bow. Yeah. Jin four shot might be able things. to secure it. Oh, there we go. There you got go. And he got the shutdown. I'd say a worthwhile trade, all things considered. Yeah. The they will get plating here, and that's going to be massive, evening up this gold lead. Looks like uh, they're going to try and collapse in on this Urgot up here as he tries to contest Rift Herald. And never mind, Rift Herald's gone. Urgot is dead here, unfortunately. 
Yeah, I don't think. Unless he can kill yeah. Kane. Wow, that was actually really close. That was close than I would have pegged it, but just fate taking it back. And looks like top lane turret will go down here. Yep. Rift Herald being pushed top. Ugh. Not what I would. Oh, they did save the HP on the Herald though. Remember? On the yeah. turret charge. That's big. That is going to be huge. They might get into. They might clear out top lane turrets here. But this is definitely a much closer game than last time. Much closer yeah. than we've seen. Urgot not quite picking up his first oh. mythic yet. I think the Alistar and the Yasuo are and, ooh, very strong. Fate, taking a death here, y Yone. It is interesting to see Kane go blue Kane though. You'd expect a red Kane, but no. who knows? Yeah, it it seems to be working for him right now. Hecarim picking up his first mythic. Mark has two mythics for blue strings, which is very it's going to be very big. It's going it's still very very close. I would not call it quite yet. Yeah, this match could go anyway, especially with the gen scaling. Yeah, for sure. Vayne taking a back here on bottom lane. Jin very confused about where his Morgana is. Days in alone. Needing his beautiful support. Looks like they Blue Springs will try and condense on onto mid lane. Maybe try and push a little bit. I do think once the Jin is able to pick up his third item, which would be Infinity Edge. Is very huge. He will do Blue a Strings lot of damage. Has also picked up the third, the second dragon. They got an ocean drake. This is going to be very big. Urgot especially is going to have just so much more sustain. Ooh. Yeah, it does seem like it is going to be a cloud soul though, which is not bad on their team, but it's definitely a lot better on Hickman's side. Yeah. As long as they can, some t some games is more less about trying to get the dragon and just keeping that dragon from them. Yep. Honestly, um, we will see another team fight break out the top. Hickman trying to collapse in, meeting stiff resistance, backing off. Forgot just so such a big player right now, having such a good early game, and looks like uh, oh and. That will be a... Oh, Yone making it out alive. It's just... It does it seem like up. that Immortal Shield Bow is very strong. Kept him alive there that entire time. Yeah. Shield Bow keeping him... He's he's blocked 750 damage with it, which is yeah. definitely enough to keep him just, just living. There we go. They so definitely need to pick up hurt, some... Up Hickman. Mid yeah. Mid hurt, only remaining. They definitely need to pick up some Grievous Wounds for that Yasuo. Yeah. Yeah, I think this Urgot has got to be close to his Gore Drinker by now. That's going to be a big power spike. Looks like they are going to try and push in on the bottom, just try and get some kills. That way they can play play their lanes a little better to maybe get that last mid turret. Here comes the Twisted Fate collapse behind them. Oh. Oh wow! It seems like they picked up the Alistar. Oh. Not bad, not bad at all. Some beautiful team play. Twisted Fate recognizing Yasuo, just backing off. Honestly, that's what you just have. Well, to they do. might be able to pick up Gangplank Picking here. Picking up the flash. And That'll be huge Gangplank. if they do. Yona Yasuo, the comeback mechanic of this century, ladies and gentlemen. Windwall countering basically oh. everyone. And ooh, Yasuo massacre. is very strong. A massacre indeed. Yeah. And it is, and the cane and Vayne just cleaning be everybody kill. up. Morgana, there might, might be an ace will here. Morgana will make it out alive, unfortunately. Yeah, not not reading the bush, and I don't think caring enough either. They just have to wait for wait for lane and hope they can get this push into mid. Yep. Baron spawning in about a minute and a half. They might. They would have delayed that team fight a little longer. They could have had a free one. This game is going to be very hard to win. Blue Springs is down around oh, 10k gold. 10k gold, yeah. So it's going to be very hard to win. Urgot finally getting a score drinker. Last real power spike from him. That's just almost ever. Red? Red having a destroyed turret somewhere. Oh, top lane, it looks like. Interesting. Very interesting. But Minion's taking it. Minion's. They, they, Grabbing one for the team. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know if this Jin will be able to 
carry so carries so much as he needs to. Yeah, with the Yasuo Wind Wall, it's very hard for Jin to get off that damage. Yeah. So, I think I think Blue Springs is just gonna just gonna have to have godlike awareness about when Wind Wall is gonna be played and uh, trying to get some reads. Yeah, and play around it. Stu just kind of sitting here farming minions as you do and missing that one tragedy. <laughs> oh, missing two. Oh, we just not playing his cards about it? right. Unfortunately. Like and they just rip apart the dragon. Yeah, the the dragon is gone. No questions asked. Cloud, cloud dragon from them, and that's that's going to be just some silliness coming out from Hickman. Able to just get some ults off a little quicker. Very nice. Laning phase has kind of been abandoned by everyone but Gangplank. Yep. Gangplank. Gangplank, Gangplank just, fate, just having, having a grand old time, but just farming oh, away. They will, they will go for Baron at 20 minutes again. And Blue I don't Springs. know if Blue Springs is going to be able to stop them. They won't. Oh, he's just Baron. Now the just, Baron does apply a debuff though to people taking it, so we could see something, but I doubt that Blue Springs will. Yeah. Baron is down. Hickman has it. And unfortunately, I don't think. I don't think Blue Springs will be able to pull it back. Just with the with the Yone that powerful, and now with Baron on the field. Yeah. Gangplank now uh, be able to just push his lane so much better now with the Baron buff, and Blue Springs is kind of asleep at the wheel. No, Ergot recognizing it. Beautiful stuff. Great, game. great map awareness all around. Yeah, let's just hope they're able to. Deal with the Baron pushing. It's gonna be very scary. Oh, Morgana might be dead out here. Collapse oh, the Zanyas. Oh. Mix it up. I think it's out. Hourglass saving it. Oh, and Urgot. That that Bane that we saw. That Bane is very so scary. Well. Ooh, oh, Bane takes another on a Jin. Urgot trying to trying to secure himself a little bit of a kill. He might have it. No. Nope. And as I think Urgot may be dead. And, um, Tragedy unknown to everyone. Forgot his fallen. And that, it is up to Twisted Fate. He will be able, just trying to solo it. Yeah, not Baron much you can field. do, though, he with the Baron can. minions. He just cannot. They do pick up the Alistar, though. I don't know if they can turn this. No, definitely not. No. They've got Siege minions just killing out their cords. And it does seem like uh, they're going to end. Yeah. Oh, we could see Gangplank die here, and there he goes. Gangplank dead. It does seem like Gauss okay. is going to kill everyone here, though. Yeah, unfortunately. We might get lasered if he pushes a little oh. too much. He might have a little too much. Argot wasn't able to flip him in. Unfortunate. Yeah, and there we go. GG's. GG's. And they played that, that so well. Hickman takes first in the Blue Springs Invitational. Yeah, Blue Springs coming in second. Blue Springs just not able to clutch it out. The team comp not able to get in. Good games all around. Beautiful stuff. With that, I can play that very well every single game. Yeah. That concludes Blue Springs Invitational. We will see you all on February 23rd, I believe, is the next tournament. Yes. But have a wonderful evening. See you all later.